Stop binge eating. Do you feel identified with any of the following situations? I crave for something sweet, white flour based foods, junk foods, etc. When I start eating something good, can't stop until I finished it all. I'm fed up with starting diets that go nowhere because the urge to eat tasty food is just too hard to resist. If you feel like this, then this video is perfect for you. In a moment, I'm going to reveal the three secrets that will help you control your anxiety eating. Food cravings can be said to be an emotional state that forces us to lose control and keep on eating and eating frequently very unhealthy foods. But what triggers them? Anxiety eating has several starting points. It can be triggered by stress, emotional disorders, low self-esteem, and other causes of a psychological nature. You may be able to master enough of the determination to lose weight and you may be able to find the best and most effective diet plan in the world. But when you fall under the grasp of anxiety, it can be very difficult, if not impossible, to carry your purposes through. These are the three secrets that will help you control your anxiety. Secret number one, beware of what you eat. How does this work? As the impulse to binge is unconscious, being aware of each moment, in other words, being able to focus your attention on everything that's happening to you, increases your power to control the compulsion to eat. Achieving this is not so hard, but it does require both time and dedication. These three steps will help you achieve your goal. Number one, forgive yourself. To stop the negative cycle, it is very important that you forgive yourself. Binging equals feeling guilt, equals binging again. You must put an end to this negative emotional cycle. If you binge, don't blame yourself. Instead, simply say to yourself, what's most important is that I start feeling better about myself. Learning to control my cravings will take time, but I'll be patient. I know that I will get better at it in time. Number two, keep a record of what you eat. Take a notebook and a pencil and keep a food journal of everything you eat and drink during the day. Again, you must not judge your actions. For now, being honest with yourself and writing down everything you eat and drink is more important than resisting urges. If you binge, don't worry, enter it in your food log as well. If you do this exercise, I can assure you that you will start noticing changes. Number three, feel what you eat. Relax and feel the taste of food as well as all the sensations that it produces in your mouth. Feel the smells and what you feel as you chew and swallow. Do this with one or several meals a day. Once you start putting these three steps in the practice, you will soon be able to notice a huge difference in your awareness level while you eat, which will give you a greater power to control your anxiety. Secret number two, build up your self-esteem and learn to control your emotions. I know. This is not an easy path to walk down, but it is absolutely necessary if you want to eliminate most of the causes of anxiety binging. Surfing the internet, you will find lots of resources and information that can help you deal with this problem. My personal recommendation is one of the books I consider the best ever written on the subject, Your Erroneous Zones by Dr. Wayne Dyer. This great book can be very helpful to raise your self-esteem and learn to gain control over your emotions. If you prefer listening to books rather than reading, there are audiobook versions of the book available here in YouTube. Secret number three, work on your inner dialogue. The words you say to yourself play a huge role in determining what you think and how you feel. Not only that, the things you constantly repeat to yourself turn into beliefs and in the end, they become part of your reality. If you have said to yourself repeatedly, I can't stop eating, I gain weight very easily, I have a weakness for sweets, etc. The fact that it is very difficult for you to control your anxiety should not come as a surprise. Start changing your inner dialogue, adding phrases such as, I enjoy taking care of my body and my health. I control my emotions better every day. I respect my body and my health, so I handle my emotions to prevent them from interfering with my eating habits. I eat better every day and doing this will finally give me to the body I long for. Using power phrases like these will help you control your cravings without suffering or having to fight against them. Take notice that they are all stated in the present tense and in a positive way. For example, 
One of them says, I respect my body, instead of, I won't harm my body. Keep them in the present and avoid using the word no. Note, if you find any particular phrase hard to believe, add, every day I have, feel, am, more, or every day I get better at, to the statement. For example, if you don't feel comfortable saying, I control my emotions well, you can change it to say something that feels more real to you, like, I am starting to control my emotions better every day. Remember, you must be patient. Don't judge yourself harshly if you binge. Just keep saying these phrases to yourself and you will soon start to notice how they change you. Change will be gradual, but constant and steady. As you say them over and over, new neuronal connections will form, which will support a whole new way of regarding yourself. Like all natural processes, these connections will need time and consistent practice to develop, but I can assure you, they really work. An extra benefit you'll get from them is that they will fill you with energy and power. These were my three secrets to stop binge eating. I'm sure that if you start applying them to your everyday life, you will achieve the body of your dreams without struggling against yourself with every diet you begin. If you like this video and think it can help someone else, please share. Until next time.